When your accounts team has provided you access to the online portal, you will receive an email. In that email, it will contain details of the URL, your username and your password. You can use this to navigate to the portal and update your personal details. Depending on the level of access your accounts team has provided you, you will have several options available to you on the portal. To, to ensure that your details are populated for payroll, you should navigate to the My Details section and ensure that your personal information is input and correct. This information will be used for payroll. You should ensure all items flagged with an asterisk, which are mandatory, are completed. If you have an agent, your agent will be sent an instruction to log in and input these details on your behalf. You should scroll down and fill in all information that is required and also complete your start declaration. If you are a PAYE and have a student loan, you should indicate which student loan is applicable in your circumstance. If you have been provided access to create and submit POs, you can do so by using the create PO option. In here is where all POs are created. If your supplier is not listed in the drop down box, you can create a new record for a new supplier by ticking the plus symbol. We at minimum should be provided with a name and email address. If we scroll down, you, will, you may have a currency field. If your project has multiple currencies or multiple companies, they will be dis displayed in this drop down box. Please ensure that you communicate with your accounts team which option should be used in your circumstance. Below this, we have details of where we can fill in the item that is being PO'd. If you've been supplied access to code your POs, this will be available. If this is an asset, you should tick the asset tab. And unless you know if there is VAT included in the amount, you should not touch the VAT tick box. All items that are entered in should be exclusive of VAT. If we scroll down further, we can put in additional information for the supplier. We can have a different delivery date and delivery address or we can add in additional information for the approver. We can attach any supporting documentations as long as they're in a PDF format. And below this, we can save this as a draft and edit at a later stage or submit for approval. Once we submit for approval, we will be given a PO number. When the PO has been approved, you will receive an email letting you know it has been approved and will allow you to send the PO to the supplier. If you are a crew member who has to approve other POs for, for other crew members, you will have an option for approving POs on your portal. When this is chosen, you will be given a display of all POs that need to be approved. We can view the details of the PO or approve from this screen. If you want to view the PO and approve, we can review the details, approve as such, Amend details, change the amount, flag as an asset, code to a different account number, add additional information, amend details, or decline the PO. All crew members will have the ability to search for POs that they have raised. They can do so by choosing the Find POs option, searching for My POs. They can filter by a supplier or they can look at all POs against all suppliers. Down below you will see the status of all POs that have been raised, if they are awaiting approval, if they have been declined or if they have been posted. You can edit a PO and you can resend an approved PO to the supplier. All communication regarding POs that have been raised, once they are approved or declined, you will receive an email. In this email, you will get a copy of the PO and also a link which will allow you to send the PO to the supplier.
If you are a crew member who has to approve POs, you will also get an email. In this email, you'll get details of the PO, which you can review. You can log on to the portal to approve or decline or amend the PO, or alternatively, click the link at the bottom of the PO to automatically approve the PO. The originator of the PO will then subsequently get an email advising them the PO has been approved and they can click on a link in that email to send the PO to the supplier. As shown, the PO has been approved and the originator has received an email in which they can click on the link and send the PO to the supplier.